Welcome. Hi, Claire. We are called Cygnis Spółka Akcyjna. We are from Poland and we are creating cutting edge technologies since 2012. Uh, we started with uh, creating 3D printers. We bought 3D printers uh, at a certain cost and sold them uh, with, uh, uh, with a profit. But right now we have our own research and development team who is, who is working on several research and development projects. The first project that we have the European funded and uh, we have received a grant and recommendation from the European Union is the Cyglas technology. The technology to free from low temperature glass for the use in creating preforms of optical fibers for optical fibers. Uh, the second two pro the two projects, next two projects were regarding the automatic hybrid 3D printer and a bioprinter. So we could create a bioprinter that prints from human tissue and ensure the livability of such structures for as long as we need to put them into the bioreactor to ensure the livability and to allow them to grow. For example, to uh, create, uh, to take parts of skin tissue, DNA from uh, rats and mouse to multiply them in the process of bioprinting and test rugs and cosmetics on those structures and not a living animal. So it would be great in terms of bioethics. Uh, the second purpose is to do something very similar, to take parts of oncology patients, to take parts of DNA of skin tissue of oncology patients for their specific type of cancer, and then multiply their samples of that skin and test chemotherapies and radiotherapies on those parts and before and apply it to, uh, to a human. So we could create something that supports part of the therapy specific cause one man or woman with full human eye for their specific type of cancer. Uh, the third uh, high hopes that are uh, being connected with bioprinting is creating bionic organs. The real estimates are that in 10 to 15 years, we'll be able to certify the process of creating bionic organs for people. So we could take parts of human organism, multiply it, grow it to a bionic liter, bionic pancreas, and we are working on pancreas, uh, specifically, or other organs for humans. So, for example, we are cooperating with Polish institutes to create Wildly pancreas for people with diabetes. Uh, the real estimates are 10 to 15 years because there are lawful uh, blockages so in terms of administrative issues that of uh, biomedical issues on the, the grounds in the European Union regulations and so on. So uh, I guess we'll see that kind of future. We really hope to, uh, to achieve that in our biotechnology sector, in our nanotechnology sector, because we are a multi sector company. We have simultaneously developed several uh, projects uh, connecting to different and uh, a different house of industry and scientific and wars. So we are trying to develop lead 3D printers to print out the print 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 lead. Uh, so we could create acidic meat batteries instead of lithium ion batteries to take any sources and use the resources that we have in Poland instead of those important in, uh, in terms of lithium and chyle important to Poland so we could be more independent in terms of power engineering and other energetics which is really important nowadays. Uh, the second project that we've uh, about the second fourth uh, I should say project that we develop uh, is uh, a printer that the creek from carbon. So the general idea is that we bring something to come enough and I guess we will see that next year and uh, we'll need to work on the combustion of uh, all those uh, gases to show them in front of people and that we can deal with all the regulations for feathers. Uh, but the general the idea was that we can create uh, by shooting a laser into the single atoms, we knock them out of the particles from gas matter, gas state to solid state of carbon. 
and we'll talk more about that next year. Right now we are waiting to patent it, so I'm uh, I'm uh, no, I cannot say more about that technology. But uh, of course, as it's next year's Formix, I'm the ambassador also, my cyborg as the front foot, so uh, yeah, so look. Uh, other technology, uh, the other technologies, as we should say, that we use in our machine barn is 3D printing from sand, 3D printing from metal, we 3D print from what other person casting wax. We can 3D print in a full color. We use uh, inkjet printing with colors that shoot uh, colors in the depth of more than 10 million colors and shades to achieve results like here at the bottom. Uh, we also developed our own fluid creator to print from any single part liquid and semi-liquid materials. So we can print from resins and can print from silicones and we can print, for example, from ceramic plates. This is a really great cost affordable car machine for young research groups because the machine costs only 5,000 euros instead of the regular uh, machines for silicones, which costs from 12,000 12, to the top 15,000 euros. So it's really great uh, that the young research groups will be able to get a grant for the research and fund the 3D printer that allows them to uh, enhance the possibilities of their uh, material laboratories and their research groups and their basic and conservation research. Uh, recently, we have fought a Polish company from Drozlov, which came to North Korea. We are together with them today. I'm proud to say that we have a team of 30 people and as for next. Their sectors are right behind you. There are these two sectors uh, dedicated to Zeworth machines, and Zeworth is a great uh, team of engineers and programmers that developed uh, several machines for 3D printing, for CSC milling, for laser engraving, and for thermophobe. Uh, what should I say, uh, say else? Uh, I invite you to uh, look at our projects to see our fingerprints so ask around our engineers, and we have a lot to do with us. So I encourage you to, uh, to talk about the specific machines. If you have any questions, I did, of course, answer right now. So uh, thank you for this short reason. Uh, summary of our company. Uh, I hope to see you next year, and also next days of the foreigners. You must have the first, and thank you right there. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so do you have a